Alex. Yes, Commander. Go for launch. Acknowledge. Transferring power to shield. Positioning for departure now. Stand by. Final checks to ascend thrust vector control complete. Stand by for launch. Take. Yes, I'm here. Departure handover. Acknowledge. Take off. Ascending. Retracting modules. Handing you the card. Eden. Commander. Roughly 50%. Okay, 50% engaged. Clear the area and prepare for super cruise. Taking care of it, stand by. Process 100%. Engines full burn. Distancing. Preparing for super cruise. Uh, we've got some scrap cards down on the store 
Um, and it doesn't matter what you donate, if you donate something, pick one of those up and uh, engage with what what uh, these wonderful guys did in, in getting involved with that. Really good effort by them last year. And also, can I just say, a massive, huge thanks to Paul, who put so much of his own personal time and money into putting this stuff together for us to enjoy, which he's earning nothing out of the, those voice packs. So, and it's down, down in, in the game room, um, the special effects stand is there, there's a little honesty box, so, um, but I do, we all really appreciate the stuff that Paul does for us, don't we? Thanks, that means a lot, thank you. Um, almost forgot, I must introduce uh, Alex Martin, uh, who's the voice behind Alex, and of course, Eden, uh, Eden Vick, for the voice pack to Eden, which is um, actually outselling Mr. Chatter at the moment, which is very, very popular. Uh, and of course, Kate, uh, we all know. Um, yeah. Let me in your hold and I'll steal your watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gangle, he does a lot of the support for the forums and also on our Discord channel, uh, along with some volunteers like Martin and the other guys and uh, Fiery Toad. And uh, Lee here is behind a lot of the technical stuff that goes on with configuring voice attacks. Um, which is the magic behind uh, the, the control mechanic. Um, so, you know, they don't do what I do, but what they do is extraordinary. And, um, you know, they've stepped up and made some real magic with the packs recently and the new plugins. So, yeah, um, hats off to Lee here and Fire Toad who work on those packs. <laughs> I just wanted to start off by asking a quick question, and maybe if somebody could, because I remember the voice packs when they first came out, and uh, I had voice attacks. Uh, I was just wondering if you could kind of explain what it was like going from, you know, the first pack to what it is now. Well, I don't remember. I, I just don't remember. It's just been one long ride of fun. So stuff like you lot. I mean, I, you know, you go and buy the game, and you in your solitude, you, you, you come up with whatever you can to make things interesting in your own environment and that was one of those and I haven't really had time to digest or really think about the entire ride with all the different packs but it's just been you know phenomenally popular um yeah one, one of the things I found really astounding actually is the roll call of names right from the sci-fi kind of like historic characters from the films that we know if you put that line up in a Hollywood movie, it would be an absolute international kind of like mega smash superstar. And you've got all of these voices interacting with each other. Like Vasco will talk to Brian Blessed, and Brian Blessed will talk to Tom Baker, and they all kind of like interact with each other. And I think nowhere on the planet will you get that level of caliber of ridiculously famous sci fi people all pretty much on the same stage, right? And people like Tom Baker, didn't Tom Baker with, with the Echo from the Hold 3 as well? Yeah, he, he turned up for that, yeah. He turned up and did um, quite a bit, really. And he's, um, and he's, uh, I mean, he's in his, well into his 80s now, so uh, great effort from him. But they, they like it. They like the fact that it brings a bit of theatre uh, and audience interaction to theatre while playing the game, and it's, it's that that the brings them to the table, they quite like the way that we're presenting it and how people can... Well, you're on stage with William Chapman and you, when you're in your spaceship, it's, he's with you. It's quite, quite extraordinary. I like it anyway. So. It's insane. I mean, I don't know anybody else who could have got such names all together in one, in one clutch. I just think it's absolutely amazing. It's like, what the hell is he working on now? Who's he got now? What? Uh, Dave? Carrie Fisher? I, mean, I don't know if Carrie Fisher's coming or not, but, you know... <laughs> As I've just said, it might be unlikely. No, that, that, that might be difficult. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you thought they did with the CGI. I'm not sure we can do that here. Anyway, so uh, we have got another voice pack coming soon because uh, the support for foreign languages is, is um, a real challenge. And of course, uh, we've got a lot of German fans and Italian fans, Spanish, you name it, they're all there. So we're bringing out something that's called Ion, um, which is just a load of speak, uh, a bit like. Yeah, but it's, a, it's a fluffy sleeping thing, but it's really hard to try and get 
Um, the bleach, so that you're familiar with it. So if you, if you say, you know, power to weapons, you'll get used to the bleach that uh, belong to weapons. And yeah, to get a picture, it's sort of like that. So we're working hard to get that one out so that we can deliver that to German German fans, Italian fans. So regardless of which language you speak, that will work. Last. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, cool. Right, does anybody have questions? Oh, right. <laughs> They're more used to us speaking to them, aren't they? Might be an idea, <laughs> might, might be an idea to um, uh, big shout out to Gary Magenheimer, by the way, the guy behind Voice Attack, because without that, and of course, uh, Frontier is marvelously dangerous. You know, all of these things uh, work hand in hand, and it's, it's great. Um, but we've got something called Story of Galaxy, which we're playing with, which I'm really excited about. I want to see what the reaction is when we. Uh, distribute that, and we've got a demo. If we can play those two demos, that would be pretty good. Just personally, I wonder what's it like to edit William Shatner because we, we, we used to have this term on the podcast called chirping, where somebody would pause all the time. Was, was that an issue, I wonder? I, I was frightened to death editing it. I was frightened to death all the way back until after we released it and people said, I like it. Uh, so it's just a scary, but yeah, there were some, there were some uh, pauses, which is his signature. Um, but we had to string some of them together. <laughs> oh, we've got a question. Great. I know, for example, Brian Blessed can be a bit of a rambler. Um, how much did the actors bring their own twist to it and add their own stings, and how much was purely scripted? Um, we had to write what Brian performed. We pretty much had to write everything, apart from Kate's. Uh, but everything else was, is written. Uh, Drew was in... Because I am with, a control freak. Yeah. <laughs> Drew, Drew was involved with... Um, some of Eli's stuff, uh, which was really helpful. Um, in real times, Brian Blessed, I mean, it was just a nuts day out at the studio with him, really. But he's, uh, he's magic with his voice, and he's known for an awful lot. He's uh, so loud, you almost don't need to record him. You could just, like, plug him in, and you know, everyone around the world would be able to hear him instantly anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, we put him, we just thought, it would, uh, the guy that, that helps me with the Pats, James, his name is he... Uh, he suggested we should just get Brian to just shout movie quotes because it's just <laughs> amusing. So, so well, that's a little bit of a bit of a cheeky one taking everyone out. But it's you know it's it's funny when he does it. So and it works it works well. We were talking about this last night actually in the in the hotel. So we, 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 the Galaxipedia and the the um, the quantum physics and science kind of like almanac thing, which I think me and Alex both did. And that was a crazy, crazy, because you're sitting in a chair in a sort of like a sound booth, reading a script full of Latin words that you've got to get in one. I mean, how was it for you, Alex? It was crazy, wasn't it? It, it was quite. I mean, I had to take a lot of time beforehand and like, because you need it to sound fluid. It needs to sound natural. And, and of course, this is not natural speech. But, but yeah, you take a, a little bit of time and prep and, and then... Act like it's normal. Yeah, but I got the script the same day, didn't I? Yeah. So, <laughs> and the only way I could improvise over that script. So, uh, I think in, in post production, they had quite a job actually trying to edit out all my um, stumbling. <laughs> I, w I was lucky. I was able to split the recording into two days. So, all of that came on the second day. And I, yeah. so I went home the first night and just read and read and read and read and read until it became fluid. <laughs> Of course, I did the uh, Doris voice back as well, which I r f first did as a personal voice back, which I recorded at home, and then HCS very kindly said, oh, let's make that proper. So I did the Galaxipedia twice. <laughs> which by the end, apparently there's some quite ripe outtakes of me from the studio recording, doing the second time through Galaxipedia, going, I remember the F wrote this effing script. I'm never going to effing read it again in my effing life. <laughs> Yeah, it was quite blue, apparently, in the air. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's, a, it's a challenging task when you get 300 galaxy facts and 88 constellations, and you've got to 
deliver that without cocking it up. I mean, I, I think even in post, we, we made a few errors with some of the facts, but they were very quickly pointed out. But yeah, that's the one thing you can rely on with this wonderful audience. I think in my um, the first draft of Elite Mostly Harmless, somebody um, pulled me up on the um, physics of, of, of weight over... It was, it was, it was basically some, some scientific fact in like the first chapter, and somebody emailed me, oh, I think you'll find that what you're referring to there is... It's like, <laughs> thank you for being so special to point that out. Because <laughs> at least now I'm factually correct in the second draft. <laughs> we, should really, we, we should really play this uh, story. Oh, can I ask, can I ask, is anyone here, is anyone sitting in the audience thinking, what the hell is a voice pack? None of you. you do you all use voice packs? Yeah. It's... It, for me, I mean, I don't know if you really appreciate, Paul, how much you've changed the game for so many of us, but, you know, particularly when it comes, when you're in combat and you've got to, like, put your pips into your engine, it's just so much easier. Or, you know, if you've got to, when you're pulling into a station and you've, you know, sort of pouring yourself a glass of wine and eating you know, a mouthful of what's this at the same time, it's just it's so easy just to be able to say, do you know what? request docking permission, do all that stuff for me, do all of that stuff for me. But it's, just, it's really changed the game, isn't it? It makes it, I'm not going to say immersive, because someone will come and put a bucket over my head if I do, but it just makes it so much more real and also just fun, right? I've got, I've got the issue of I can't play other games now without voice attack in some form or another. Um, I get so used to like request docking or open the maps, it's got like, why isn't it doing this? Yeah, no, I do it when I'm walking around the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the beer aisle, though, isn't it? <laughs> Request docking permission at the till. No. Oh, okay. Oh, just quickly, um, we will have some bundles of signed photos. We'll we'll put some in the raffle, and uh, we'll put some on the special effect thing. There's some John Delancey ones in there. I think there's maybe a dozen. Um, so if there's some Delancey fans that want a signed photo, if you show up at the special effects store uh, prior to three o'clock, so I don't know if they're going to be there until uh, late in the afternoon. We'll, we'll have some there for, for some of you fans of, of him, for sure. Zach, can I just say that was the worst sneaking across a room that I've ever seen. He's like f full height, just going, if I walk kind of slowly and like a robot, no one will see me. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows <laughs> until I pointed it out. Okay, cool. Well, th thanks so much, guys, for that. And um, if there's no more questions, as, I, as you said, I'd definitely swing by the store, pick up a band at least. I highly recommend. And yeah, those photos sound good. Yeah, and do come and, get, do come and get the Echoes from the Hole because all that money is going to the two charities that are supported here. And it, it's just a bit of silly to put in your hold. Um, and you've got people like Mad Dog and all sorts of people just sort of like pitching in with random conversations so it's definitely definitely worthwhile um i just once we've uh, shown the storybook uh, demo probably um lee will just explain that function okay take off the screen <laughs> <laughs> It's your ears that are a problem, by the way. We're just recalibrating them. Not to worry. Nobody panic. Should we do the sound effects? <laughs> I'm afraid the gremlins might be back. <laughs> Everybody, a huge round of applause for Grant Walcock, who's doing a stunning job behind the scenes. You can show your appreciation by buying him beer. Yeah, lots of beer. I'm going to fill a swimming pool full of beer for him.
I say I saw. Oh, come here. No! Wiggle the cable. Keep wiggling. Where's the energy? Lathe station. Royalty. Yes. Request documentation. Acknowledged. Landing after rest. Be directly to Docking Bay 05. Commander, I know you can hear me. It's in your interest that you speak up. Do you read me? Speak up? Yes, O oh Wicked Witch of the West. I read you. Great. Listen up. My name's Taylor. Forgive the intrusion, but I've disabled communication logging on your ship. Sorry. That's how this has got to be for what I'm about to tell you. I've been asked to seek you out specifically for an important task. I have a pilot here on the station. The less said about him, the better. All I need from you is to get him out of the system. Can you help? We'll pay you, of course. What I mean is, uh, it'll be substantial. And more than what you're used to receiving. I'm talking millions. That's the deal. And yes, it's dangerous. One other thing. No questions. Interested? Hmm, sounds profitable. I'm interested. Of course I am. Yes. All right, here it is. In a short while, when the time is right, I'll ask you to pick up a mission that'll take you outside the system. It doesn't... It's only small, this one. Maybe they injected some sort of implant. I don't know. For tracking me, maybe? I'm not sure. All this... It's weird. My brain is scrambled and I, I, I can't damn well tell what, what's real and what isn't. Maybe I imagine. Wow. Yeah? All right, so story of a galaxy, triggered events, uh, missions outside the fold of the mission board and this type of thing. RPG in real terms. We're going to make sure that this is available to everybody. So you don't have to have a voice pack uh, to get this. We'll make it a free download. You will need voice attack, but that's just the way these things are. But we're going to give this one away, see what the reaction is, and invite uh, some of the talented content creators out there, writers, uh, to step forward and, and get involved in some of the storyline. Uh, and we'll produce that once we get that. But we don't really know how that's going to, how people are going to react to this once we distribute it. Um, so we really don't know anything yet. But um, we're really, fingers crossed, hoping that people will engage with what we're trying to do and uh, get involved in that process of building missions with us. It's uh, extraordinary fun and it works well. Um, Lee, perhaps you'd like to explain a bit of the challenge. Yeah, well, uh, obviously. Um Conte gave us the, uh, the journal information plugin um, about six months ago, and we've been building the packs to use those. Um, it gives us information in the game about what we're doing, what we're up to, you know, what planet we're on, etc. Um, and we just have the, you know, the voice pack works one way. Why not use that information to do something completely different and bring some, you know, focus to the game a little bit and ha have a little bit of fun with it. So. That's what we've been trying to do. I hope we're not encroaching on anyone else's time now. I think we're going to wind up 
this now, I think. Um, hopefully that's given you some insight into what we're doing, and please support Special Effect today as much as you can, guys, and th I thank you very much. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> to the bar! <laughs> you deserve beer. Oh, please. <laughs>